Hi guys. This video is for the Decatur High School percussion class. Um, it's meant to be an instructional reminder video for the next assignment that you guys have due uh, during our time of digital learning. Um, the assignment that we're going to look at here uh, is one that we've gone over in class before for several weeks before uh, they suspended um, you know, in-person classes at school. Um, so you guys should be familiar with it. We've, everyone has been in a classroom, uh, in, in percussion class with me, at least on one day where we've gone through and played it together and there's been some instruction. So this is meant to be mostly a reminder because it's been a few weeks uh, since, we, since we looked at it. But uh, uh, you are now going to have the assessment on it that I had mentioned when I handed out the assignment. The assignment, of course, is the Rademacue Etude. Um, we're going to upload and make available another copy of it that has some, no changes to the actual music, but it's got a tempo specified. And it's got some notes at the bottom regarding how you should approach this assignment, which I'll read to you. This is the Rademacue Etude. I believe that there were some repeats at the end of the second line there, and maybe a repeat, uh, might have been another repeat somewhere in the page that I've given you, but the whole time we've been working on it, I'd mentioned to you that we're not gonna take the repeats. We're just playing it straight from the beginning to the end um, with no repeats, just reading all four lines. Okay. Um, before I forget to tell you guys, for the purposes of this video, um, I'm going to play, uh, for the recording, I'm going to play on an actual drum pad instead of, of on the drum itself, because there's a lot of a loud volume and a lot of distortion in the sound when I'm actually playing on the drum. I think you'll be able to hear more clearly what I'm doing if I just play on the pad sitting on top of the drum. Um, also, because videos can get, there can be some confusion sometimes about, is this a mirror image? What am I looking at? Uh, this is my right hand, and this is my left hand. So my right hand is here, my left hand is here, closest to the music stand, okay? Um, the Radom Q Etude, uh, the goal tempo for this Etude is 75 beats per minute. In order to achieve the highest possible score, it should be performed at the goal tempo. But if you need to perform it at a slower tempo to execute it correctly, meaning playing accurate rhythms, accurate sticking, dynamics, clear articulation, then you should do so. Okay? Don't sacrifice sacrifice accuracy of execution in order to play it at a faster tempo. Accuracy matters more than speed. But again, if you want to get the highest score possible, you've got to execute it correctly with all those, uh, paying attention to all those musical components, as well as the musical component of uh, tempo, 75 beats per minute. It's okay to go slower if you need to, to play it, play it well and make it sound good though, okay? Um, I'm gonna first uh, just, I'm gonna break it down line by line uh, as a reminder. The good news about this, the dynamics in this piece, it's a rudimental etude. So all of our uh, drags um, or roughs uh, have a nice open sound to them. And, and we're going to just execute the whole thing at one dynamic level, a nice, just confident, strong mezzo forte, so moderately loud. Um, and then it's got accents. So you don't have to go up and down with your dynamics in this. Just stay nice and even. Um, and that's marked on the piece of music that we're going to upload. I've got it marked as a mezzo forte. Okay, um, in the first measure, uh, we have just flams. We've got an accent we have to pay attention to. The second measure, you'll hear our rudiment, the flam a cue that I've talked about before in class, if you've been paying attention. And then we step into what the, this uh, etude is mostly focused on, which is ratum cues. We've got some single ratum cues and then um, a triplet figure with a drag um, to follow. Okay, first, first line, me counting over the top of it and playing it under tempo sounds like this. One and two and, one e and a two and, triple it and, triple it and, triple it, triple it, two and. 
please pay attention to the sticking and where those accents go. The accented notes really need to pop out and be, be um, they need to sound different than the other notes you're playing. Okay, that's the first line. Second line sounds like this. It's exactly like the first line, except for the very last measure. Second line goes one and two and one E and a two and triple it and triple it and one and two and. Okay? So back to back, those first two lines sound like one and two and one E and a two and triple it and triple it and triple it triple it two and one and two and one E and a two and triple it and triple it and left and two left. Okay, make sure you're playing those two flams in that last measure on the second line with your left hand. Grace notes in the right hand, main stroke with the left hand. Okay, the next two lines gets real Radamacue-ish, to invent a word there. Um, the third line sounds like this. One and triple it and. One and triple it. Oh, you gotta do that again, sorry. One and triple it and. One and triple it and. Triple it and, triple it and. Triple it, triple it to and. Make sure you play that last drag on the end of two in that last measure of the third line with your left hand. Grace notes with your right, main stroke accented with your left. Sorry for the pause, uh, having to restart that line. Uh, the fourth line starts out just like the third line, but the last two measures change and we shift back into 16th notes, um, playing some flam paradiddles, also known as flamadiddles, and playing another flam cue at the very end. So the very last line, the fourth line, sounds like this. One and triple it and, one and triple it and, flam a diddle, flam a diddle, one e and a two. The flam a diddle, flam a diddle, of course, are 16th notes. Okay? So the whole thing, I'll go ahead and play the whole thing, all four lines at the slower tempo, and then I'll do it again up to speed. Here we go. One and two and, one e and a two and, triple it and, triple it and, triple it, triple it, two and, one and two and, one e and a two and, triple it and, triple it and, left and two and, one and triple it. the end. All right, now um, I'm going to turn the metronome on and see if I can hopefully stay locked into the metronome, playing it at our target tempo of 75 beats per minute. Now that's our quarter note. The quarter note is 70, there's 75 quarter notes per minute, okay? So it's one and two and, one and two and. I'm already a little off the mat. One and two and, one and two and. Here we go. <laughs> One and two and ready, go. myself maybe about a 98 out of 100 on that um, but all the all the major components were there if you could play that play that that well um, uh, at that tempo with correct sticking correct heights and a nice even volume uh, that would that's what you're trying to do to get a, as high a score as possible on this okay good luck guys please practice uh, please work on it please continue practicing other things you've worked on in class, don't let your uh, skill set start to decrease and start to atrophy um, by not using it. Uh, we'll be uploading more assignments uh, in the coming days and weeks for you guys to be working on. Okay? If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Uh, it's milkrattle at gmail.com. M-I-L-K-R-A-T-T-L-E at gmail.com. You can also, of course, 
reach out to Mr. Truon with any questions you might have about the assignment. Okay, thanks guys. Let's turn the med off. Why did I talk with that med on?